Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing, but you guys know what time it is. We're going to be talking about Algorand. You know, if we're looking at Algorand's price as of November the 18th, it's currently sitting at 13.3 cents. You know, we're up about 2.2% over the past 24 hours in USD comparative as well as Bitcoin comparative. Looking at its market cap, you know, it's above $1 billion, which is great to see. We're approaching that $1.1 billion mark and the 24-hour trading volume currently sitting at $40.6 million. Not bad at all. You know, I'm seeing the comments. Don't worry, guys. I see the comments. People are losing hope. People are getting uh, really, really uh, impatient because, you know, we're not seeing those explosive moves, uh, you know, like Solana, you know, like Polygon, Matic, like Chainlink. But this is where your patience really gets tested and this is where you ask yourself if you are the one that is the problem and not just the project itself if you are only invested in algorand and not other several projects you know that you have diversified within your portfolio then guess what you are the one at wrong you always want to be diversifying but you know one thing i wanted to share with you guys is this so today i did a poll on my channel about five hours back i said render is absolutely sending right now what's the next big mover and of course i included v chain I included Algorand, I included Caspa, Solana, and of course, other, which is common down below. Um, but of course, uh, at this rate, it's no secret, Caspa has majority of the market momentum. 51% of the people have voted Caspa, and then Solana, but Algo is up there. You know, we are seeing people still bullish on Algo, and in my personal opinion, guys, as always, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. But in my opinion, these people that are voting for Algorand are the early ones because Algorand hasn't even moved anywhere um, as to where I potentially could see it at. And even late last year, quarter four of last year, literally one year ago, we were seeing Algorand at almost 40 cents. And fast forward a year later, we're sitting at such a big discount. And I think the people that are accumulating around here are the ones that are really going to benefit in the long haul. Of course, it's risky. Every project is risky at the end of the day. Solana is risky. Casp is risky. Everything is risky. Um, but again, this is where your this is why you take risks. And if you can't take risk that, you know, this is where your due diligence comes into play. If you are not doing your due diligence and research, then guess what? You need to do your due diligence and research. Always invest what you can afford to lose and then have patience. But I'm very optimistic on Algorand and I've shared this uh, before as well. I think this is going to be one of the shockers. Uh, you guys can see this for yourself. I really wanted to go over Alex. I uh, shout out to uh, alexfrance.algo. He posted something that really stuck with me and I wanted to share that with the Algorand community. So you guys can see two short years later, a fully regulated digital euro is coming on chain. Millions of people board the plane thanks to Algorand and hundreds of thousands who have nothing to do with Web3 use Algorand daily, frictionless to pay and transfer money without fees, access the internet, work, play, invest in various fields, and benefit from the services previously inaccessible to them. Not to mention the many huge institutions using or building for the long term on Algorand, listen to this, on Algorand such as FIFA or the Bank of Italy or RWA projects. So FIFA was the reason, you guys remember last year was the FIFA World Cup and we were seeing Algorand really pumping up. And that was the mainly only reason as to why we saw Algorand pumping at that time was because of FIFA. And because FIFA is a huge, huge brand. If you guys are not familiar with that, I think you guys really need to do your due diligence and actually research as to what FIFA really is. And this is revolutionary. They're using Algorand and building on it. And you guys can see Bank of Italy. So, you know, we talk about real world use case, you know, projects that, uh, you know, usually come and put that in their white paper. We're trying to solve this, trying to solve that, trying to build this, build that. But this is a perfect example of, you know, your building with some of the biggest names. And this is right in front of us. And you guys can see Algorand's impact on the daily lives of many people around the world in such a short time is truly spectacular. Uh, thanks to all these incredible projects using its unmatched technology. And again, speaking about technology, Algorand could be great. And I've said it has a very unique touch to it. Um, but remember what I've said from the beginning, competition is always there. The amount of competition Algorand has is insane, so it's really, really important to stay ahead of the curve, and I think they're doing so. I think due to some FUD that came out mid-year, 
um, you know, obviously is impacting the price quite substantially, but that is to be expected. And this is why you want to be diversifying. So I think the next year when things really do turn around, of course, Elgrand has a lot of things going for itself in the year of 2024. Um, I think this is going to bring in a lot of eyes. And, you know, if you consider all these factors, you know, looking at a price of 13.38 cents with an all-time high, which I consider its all-time high, $2.95 last bull cycle, I think it's undervalued. But again, I'm just another ordinary person just like yourself that's sharing uh, my personal thoughts with you. But I think this has what it takes to be a big mover. And uh, once it starts moving right now, especially above 21 cents, I think this is where, you know, eyes will come on it. We're still, you know, far, far away from this huge level of resistance, which in my honest opinion is the fair value for Algorand, which is at 21.86 cents. And last time the price of Algo was there was April of this year. And of course, after that, you guys know what happened. But let's zoom into the charts and see what exactly is going on in the short immediate term. So you guys can see Algorand has been picking up, uh, you know, especially when we zoom in, you you can see you know, Algorand is forming a green candle uh, within the charts. It's moving with the entire market. It's ranked at the top 52 spot in the cryptocurrency market ranks, um, you know, at October 17th, it was at 8.9 cents, and then it made its way up to this 14.8 cents, which is 65.4% move. And we're seeing a little bit of a minor retracement too. I know a lot of people in the comment section are saying, oh, Elgrand's dumping this and that. It's only down 9.8% after having a 65% increase. And we're being supported by the previous uh, resistance, which dates back to June of this year. And, you know, great, great in my opinion. One step at a time, you don't need the significant uh, moves overnight. It's going to be one step at a time. Uh, but main target right now is 16.18 cents. We came very close to that. Uh, but once we break out of the 16.8 cents mark, guys, this is where things get exciting. And I could see Algorand getting to that 21.8 cents. Um, and once that happens, that's where the excitement gets um, crazy, in my honest opinion. Look where... Um, you know, Algorand was in the FIFA time, FIFA World Cup time, 42.4 cents. Guys, can't make this up, 42.4 cents. And I know the amount of people around this time that were saying, ah, you know, we wish, we wish the price is able to go back down uh, to levels like 21 cents, this and that. And at that time, the lowest price for Algo was at 27 cents, not even 21. And people were saying, ah, you know, I wish it's able to get to that spot, um, you know, so we can uh, reaccumulate because let's put that into perspective. If you picked it up at 27 cents, it went up for 50% after. But now if we're looking at where the price is at 13.35 cents uh, compared to the FIFA price, uh, that's a 218% move from the current price level. So if I'm seeing opportunities, if I'm seeing, you know, potential, Algorand is definitely the one that I have my eyes on. Uh, and I think it's going to be a shocker and Algorand uh, community is aware of that as well. But even if you are a big Algorand fan, I would not recommend you only holding Algorand in your portfolio. Diversify your portfolio. That's the best way to go about because you never know, uh, you know, what can happen. Uncertainty you never know, right? So uncertain events can take place that no one knows about, maybe even not the Algorand um, community or the team knows about. So, you know, this is where you need to manage your risk. In order to manage your risk, in my opinion, diversification is number one key. And even for the likes of Solana, something I'm extremely bullish on, I would never recommend anyone to only hold Solana or hold only Ethereum or hold only BTC. Always diversify your portfolio. But nonetheless, things are looking great in my opinion. And I think Algorand in the near future is going to turn a lot of heads. But let me know down below what you guys think. Thank you so much for all your support. Love you all. See you tomorrow. I've been CryptoZX and peace out.